Yo, what's up, gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy YBG, man, aka on Bull Gun. As you can see, I'm back. Yes, sir. But nah, man, I'm back at the range. You did what I'm saying. I'm turned up. Cause I got, man, look at this target. Look at this damn target. This right here. And he got the nerve to still put A, A, C zone, and it's the D zone. Like, come on, man. All of this is still the A zone to me. Like, maybe A and C a little bit. But bro, like, look at this big old thing. And look at this. This is the real. This is the real uh target I, I ordered. You see how big it is? Oh, look at this. Right? This is all the A zone, and this is the C zone around. Whoever shot that is terrible. This is target I got. Like, bro, all of this is the A zone. But he's gonna make me a better shooter, so I'm not complaining. Today video, as you can see, damn, I almost did that like I'm doing a. <laughs> but no, nah, man. Today video, as you can see by the title, I am going to be showing you guys how to just practice with just 50 rounds. Just one box of ammo. Down here, out of the country where I'm at, it's probably about, um, I got my box for about like $14 of nine millimeter. Good cheap range ammo. It might jam, it might not, who knows, but it was only $14. And I'm gonna just show you guys how to train with $14 and your firearm and a target. You did what I'm saying? So only 50 rounds used in this video, man. I got two magazines right here of 20. And I got 10 rounds loaded up right here. So only 50 rounds um, needed. You don't need no, no more than 50. So I'm gonna go about five yards away. I got my cones lined up right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a good group for one, but also like how I shoot at five yards on this small uh, target, but also how to have recoil control with the firearm that in my opinion, I'm not no professional. Uh, I just shoot a lot, you feel me? So y'all can take what, I, what, I, what I'm what dishing out or y'all can just leave it. Who, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just trying to show y'all what I do, you feel me? So. I got my Glock 19. Oh, hold up, hold up now. I got my Glock 19 next. Last night I couldn't sleep, y'all. So I cut my my back strap into like just a beaver tail. I did the undercuts. So you can see that look good. Yeah, I know that look. That hold on. Let me. Yeah, yeah, that look good. The undercuts. And I did this little shelf for my thumb. Now it's not completely done. Like you can see, it still look rugged a little bit. Uh, all I gotta do is now is just take some sandpaper, wet sandpaper, sand it down, and I'll be okay. You did what I'm saying. It's gonna be consistent now. Nah. Yes, yeah, sir. Fire on the way. Got my Glock 19 next. You feel me? I got the 10 round magazine right here. Load it up. Now, yeah, I'm gonna just shoot five and holster it, and I'm gonna just try to get a good group with five rounds. This first shot for the day now. Pull one, bad. <laughs> All right, so check me out. Check your boy out. I pulled this one bad. I'm gonna run and get my marker. So I can mark these off, but these are my last two shots. This is my first shot, uh, second shot, third, fourth, and fifth. All right, y'all boys, mark this off. Did that, 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 Clear. Come on, man. Let's let's see the target. What y'all waiting on? Where we at? So we all are still in here. You see that? That group is like my thumb. So I'm gonna mark off. Y'all can see mark off all of this little 
And that's it. Oh, right here. Now, I'm going to show you all how I'm personally getting that tight group. So what I'm going to do, this is empty. Gun is empty. So what I'm going to do, I'm right-handed. So I'm going to take my right hand, these three fingers, I'm going to squeeze. Look, y'all still see the mark of the, the grip inside my hand. So I'm going to squeeze these three fingers into my palm of my hand, right? Now, I'm going to take this hand, my support hand. I'm going to grip these four fingers onto the gun like this. Just like this. And squeeze that. I'm going to take my palm of my, like my thumb and my palm of my hand. I'm going to put that inside of this crease. Where I put this at, I made this gun just for me. So I'm going to put my thumb right on that. Sometimes it slides off. That's okay. That's just... It's just how I shoot. I'm trying to better myself and better. Yeah, I'm just trying to practice makes, you know, better. Nobody's perfect. Nobody will ever be perfect. So I practice so I could be a lot better. You feel me? So I'm going to grip, grip like this. Lay my thumb right on that. Put this thumb right on there. You can even put it on the slide. If you put it on the slide, like your thumb on the slide, you're not going to get a slide bite. You want to take up a, all of the frame as you can. Sometimes you might hit the mag release, I mean the slot release, but that's okay. But take up as much frame as you can just like this and just ride out, man. Let's see. I'm going to shoot five more. We're going we're gonna to see if we can get a good keyhole. That was uh, pretty bad. Uh-oh. I need a new holster for this. This, this sucks. All still in the A zone, but one, two, three, and then four, and five. So, oh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna fly to see that. Now, how much was that? 15? 15. Shots. I'm gonna try to speed it up. This five, I'm gonna try to speed it up just a little bit. You feel me? So here we go. Still fire on the way. Five. I can see one is on the line. So one, two, I think that's three. Probably another one like stacked on there somewhere. Mark them off real quick. Now basically what I'm getting from this drill is consistency and where my grouping is at and how fast can I move and basically where is my, you basically want to time it. Boom, and then a recoil, a little bit of recoil, come down, boom. So you want your follow up shot to be right on top of your period shot so here we go five more shots ah! i pulled yeah. okay so I'm, i dipped all the five i'm sure y'all i'm sure y'all boy because like i said nobody's perfect i'm not perfect so one, two, three, four, five. It messed up, man. I messed up. I know. So hold up. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time again and finish this magazine inside the center. I was not counting. My head game. <laughs> My head game. My head shots is terrible, man. 
not terrible because this is a smaller target but this was the the last magazine got a good keyhole going on and then one two three four five six i saw six six shots now i'm not gonna lie i'm liking my grouping so now i'm just gonna practice on pulling from the holster and see where i'm landing so here we go man i got my shot timer right here too All right, gang, that was me showing y'all that you can practice with just 50 rounds of ammo. This is my target. Um, my grouping is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, like I said, this is not a regular size target. Y'all can see my torso next to this torso. Like, come on, man. Like, look at my hand. Like, bruh. But I stay, at least I stayed inside the C zone. All of this is really the A. And I'm not mad at it practice make a lot better like i said nobody's perfect i'm not perfect you're not perfect if you like this video and you want me to give you guys more tips on i guess how to keep your gun recoil control down and have a good uh grouping as i learn i'm gonna just push out that content and give it to you guys thanks for watching make sure i like comment share with your friends and family subscribe man oh hold on wait don't forget to go shop, man. Link is in the description down below. You feel me? Look good, feel good, shoot good. You did what I'm saying, so yeah, man, I'm gone.